This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6 through 8. And you shall hear of wars and rumours of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. The nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha Rakha Kwadash. Yahweh is the name of whom the world ignorantly calls God. In the ancient Hebrew, it means He is or He exists. Yahweh Shai is the one and only true ancient Hebrew name for whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which means He's a Savior, or He's Deliverer. All right. I'd like to give double honour to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, aka GMS, who continue to rule well and who taught me this truth, the 100% truth, according to the Holy Scriptures, the Bible. Peace, blessings, citations, goes out to the Akim, the brothers, pushing this 100% gospel, this good news, the world over, in sincerity and in truth, in hopes that it may edify the elect lambs of Yahweh Shem Shai. To you few sincere sisters who are doing the right thing, to you I say Shalom. Wa Arwan Ratiza, which means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So, um, you know, as you can see from this article on your screen from NBCnews.com, all right, this is just further proof that we are so close to the return of Yahushai Hamashayak, all right, we're so close to that third and final war, all right, that's prophesied in the scriptures, okay. Now this article, dated August the 17th, 2023, so hopefully year that these prophecies do indeed come to pass. Right. And uh, the headline reads, North Korean missile capable of striking the US, Babylon the Great, most likely a result of cooperation with Russia, think tank says. That's right man. Okay. These nations are gearing up for war man, doing that war spirit. Alright. Okay. Russia, China, North Korea, Persia, all right, they're getting closer with each other. All right. It says the missile's dimensions and its flight trajectory data appear open quote nearly identical end quote to those of Russia's Topol M ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles. It says the report from the Center for Strategic and International Studies. So as we read on it says Washington North Korea's successful test launch on July 12th of a nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missile equipped to penetrate U.S. missile defenses is most likely the result of technical cooperation sourced to Russia, according to a new think tank report first obtained by NBC News. That's right, man. Okay. <laughs> See, these nations are, you know, developing their, their missiles, their, you know, their arsenal, man. You know, they're sharpening their... Uh, <laughs> Their military weapons, man. Their funding is going into that. All right. Okay. It says the Hwasong 18 missile's physical dimensions and its flight trajectory data appear nearly identical to those at Russia's Topol M ICBM. Says the report. Okay. The report was written for Beyond Parallel, a project sponsored by the Center for Strategic and International Studies, a defense think tank. I just skipped a couple. Skipped a couple sentences there. All right. It says the new missile represents a sudden and significant advancement of North Korea's ballistic missile arsenal, according to North Korea's own pronouncements confirmed by US officials. The rocket is solid fuel or solid fueled, making it harder for Western intelligence to detect than liquid propellant ICBMs. Right. Okay. And you know, it's already written in the scriptures that Babylon the Great can never be healed. It's gonna be completely destroyed. Alright. By this up and coming nuclear thermal destruction. Right, by way of ICBM missiles coupled with the chariots of Yasha Allah. All right, these laser beams coming from the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, turning it into a lake of fire, man. Okay. <laughs> so it doesn't matter the state of America's defense, whether it be decent, you know, or not. Either way, America's destined to be destroyed. Okay. It says the test last month observed by North Korean leader Kim Jong Un, rocket man. <laughs> was the first successful launch of a solid-fueled ICBM. The test also demonstrated the 
Kwasong 18's ability to deliver multiple thermonuclear warheads as far as Washington, the report said, and deploy decoy canister countermeasures to evade US missile defences. The sudden appearance of these advanced capabilities is difficult to explain without cooperation from the Russian government and its scientist, Postol wrote. Russia supplying North Korea with such capabilities would mark a significant escalation of the growing military cooperation between the two countries, as well as the violate UN Security Council resolution signed onto by Russia, prohibiting support for North Korea's ballistic missile program. You know, <laughs> there's nothing America can, can do to, to get out of this third world war, man. Okay. See, these nations are conducting, <laughs> you know, military drills together sending weapons to one another and america can do nothing about it all right he says the u.s has accused north korea of supplying russia with munitions to support its war in ukraine with north korea receiving food and energy from russia in return the treasury department announced new sanctions this week targeting three entities tied to a network trying to avoid u.s sanctions and support arms deals between the two countries all right and back during the korean war in the 50s man russia did back the north North Korea, while America backed South Korea. Okay, so you know they've got a relationship from, you know, a relationship from back then. All right. It says Russia and North Korea have denied the transfer of weapons to Russia, but the two countries who historically have had friendly relations dating to the Cold War have made no secret of their increasingly close military collaboration amid a heavy international sanctions regime. Two weeks after the test, Russia, or Russian Defense Minister Sergei. Shoigu was welcomed to Pyongyang for the 70th anniversary of the Korean War, right, and that's a city in North Korea, right. Armistice on July 25th, meeting there with Kim. Ahead of Shoigu's visit, the Russian Defense Ministry announced that the visit would help strengthen Russian-North Korean military ties. Okay. And the article, you know, carries on. I'll just read that much for now, man. All right. So there you go, man. You know, war talks are in the midst. You know, for the f- I'm gonna look up the uh, the uh, not the melting point. What's the word? Uh, the heat of a third ICBM missile. Oh, the heat inside it. How much? Uh, uh, what's the word? Salakia. You know how hot it can. You know how hot it is how hot it expels heat all right because when these warheads open up and land on babylon the great man it's going to melt everything scripture talks about the element you know melting fervent heat the concrete all right everything is going to be decimated in america man all right and after the fire dies down after a long while okay all right it's going to be a desert all right desert creatures dwelling there find it bear with me all right but the, these you know this, this is the spirit of yaba shima shai all right that he uh, put on these uh, nuclear scientists to develop these to develop these missiles all right okay because i know it takes you know, roughly is it maybe 30 minutes for one to reach one continent to the other. All right. No, I can't find it. It's lucky. But neither. But anyway, you know, th- this is our prophecy, man. All right. You know, and that proves that we're in, you know, the final generation because it's a right, it's right around the corner, man. All right. <coughs> Let's get the uh, book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 9. All right. Just bear with me as it loads up. Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 9. 
Okay, now this is the words of the Heavenly Father to the prophet Jeremiah, alright? And it reads, for lo, lo means look, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon, an assembly of great nations, from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her, from thence shall be taken, or th from thence she shall be taken, their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man, none shall return in vain. That's right, man. Okay. And you know this thing talks about ancient Babylon, all right? Okay, because ancient Babylon is situated where Iraq is, okay? And there's still civilizations there, there's still people living there, okay? And that wasn't completely desolated, all right? This is talking about a future Babylon, which is America, man, okay? And Russia's going to be a guard to many nations, all right? And they're all going to, you know, come against Babylon the Great and destroy her, all right? And these ICBMs, all right? These are the modern day arrows because a regular bow and arrow you can't shoot from one country to another. You can't even shoot that from one city to another. <laughs> Alright. So, <clears throat> you know, the prophets use the terminology of their time to explain this. Alright. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 46, and verse 10. Declaring the end. From the beginning right now we should be surely at the end man okay and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure that's right man okay so the, these prophecies that it's written in the bible right that yahweh bashim al shai has declared from the beginning is surely coming to pass okay all right the prophets of old have, have desired to see these things okay Alright, and if you understand reincarnation, the prophets are back today, okay, some will be in the spiritual world, alright, but many of them here are back today, man, alright, so we see the counsel of the Lord, right, taking place, because there's no counsel against the Lord, alright, book of Joel chapter 3 in verse 9 proclaim you this among the Gentiles all right now in this context the Gentiles is talking about the other nations the heathen nations all right it says prepare war wake up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near let them come up verse 10 beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears let the weak say I'm strong that's right man so these nations who were once considered weak who may never had possessed you're right, nuclear capability, all right, and now talking back against America, all right, you know, and plowshares and pruning hooks are, are, are forms of um, agricultural means, all right, so these nations are not investing much into their agricultural, all right, farming tools, but rather they're investing into their military arsenal, all right, okay, they're putting their money into that, okay. Right, because they were getting ready for war, man. All right. Verse eleven: Assemble yourselves and come, all you heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither, cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. All right. So we can see this playing out, man. All right. Okay. You know, and all these heathens, you know, these heathen nations. All right. For World War Three. All right. It's going to take place in the Middle East, in the Levant, all right, in the Valley of Yahushapat, Yahweh's Judgment, all right, okay.
best with the Vision Pro. Uh, in the lesson there I think the point's been made alright because our people are still you know <coughs> trusting the majority of our people we so-called Negroes Latinos and the Americans who are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites alright they're still hoping and putting their trust alright in the Esau Edom system alright in this society alright in this world because really they have no faith man they're looking at things through a carnal lens alright things that they can see alright you know And they like to scoff and mock the prophets of Yahweh Shemel Shai, saying, Oh, you're saying the same things over and over again. Alright. You know, we know about this. You keep saying this, you know, repeating yourselves. Alright. That's not going to happen in my generation. It's going to happen later on down the line. Alright. But clearly, you know, we can see again that we're at the end, man. Alright. The MOTB is right around the corner, and really, it's here. It's just not been globally mandated yet. All right, so that's where we're at, man. So, uh, with that, let's say shallow one.